if I don't become a true hero, I'll never be able to rejoin my father, Zeus. Hold it. Zeus is your father, right? Uh-huh. <coughs> Zeus, the big guy, he's your daddy. <laughs> Mr. Lightning Bolts, read me a book, would you, dad, dad? <laughs> Zeus, once upon a time. <laughs> it's the truth. Please. For a true hero isn't measured by the size of his strength, but by the strength of his heart. Today, we are learning English with Disney's classic animation, Hercules. If you're interested in Greek mythology, as well as in inspiring adventures, let's embark on this epic journey together. In case you're new here, the scenes we've chosen have no spoilers. You'll watch two scenes from the movie, learn the vocabulary, and then have the chance to watch it again without subtitles. And if you want to keep learning with the best Disney movies and TV series, so you can finally watch them without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles, just click on the subscribe button and bell down below. That's what Diana did, and she has seen a massive improvement not only in her pronunciation, but also her vocabulary. How sentimental. You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? So is this an audience or a mosaic? Hey, how you doing? Looking good. Nice dress. So, Haiti, you finally made it. How are things in the underworld? Well, they're just fine. You know, a little dark, a little gloomy, and as always, hey, full of dead people. What are you gonna do? Oh, there's the little sunspot. Little schnoochie. And here is a sucker for the little sucker. Here you go. You just... Yeah, powerful little tyke. Come on, Hades, don't be such a stiff. Join the celebration. <laughs> Love to, babe. But unlike you gods lounging about up here, I regrettably have a full-time gig that you, by the way, so charitably bestowed on me, Zeus. So, can't. Love to, but can't. You ought to slow down. You work yourself to death. Ha! <laughs> work yourself to death! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I kill myself! <laughs> if only. If only. In ancient Greece, the gods Zeus and Hera have a son named Hercules. While the other gods are happy, Zeus's brother Hades is grumpy and jealous. Hades has an evil plan to defeat Zeus and rule Mount Olympus. However, Hercules may get in his way and prevent him from succeeding. So before proceeding with his plans, Hades has to come up with something to get Hercules out of his way. Before we learn from the scene, here are a few fun facts. In ancient Greek mythology, Zeus is the sky and thunder god who rules as king of the gods of Mount Olympus. Hera is the goddess of women and family and the sister and wife of Zeus. Mount Olympus is the highest mountain in Greece and famous for being the home of the Greek gods. How sentimental. Someone or something that is sentimental is strongly influenced by emotional feelings. If you don't connect to your feelings very often, you may be a rational person. Take a look at how sentimental and rational are used in these examples. Here we are. Wow. Now, I've already had too much to drink and I'm feeling sentimental, but I'm going to say something anyway, which nobody wants to admit, but I think is probably true. What if, theoretically, yeah? they were little ogre feet? Oh! <laughs> ah! <gasps> ah, honey, let's try and be rational about this. Have you seen a baby lately? You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? When you choke, you stop breathing because something is blocking your throat. The verb choke is commonly followed by the preposition on. Example, hey, don't eat too fast. You can choke on this piece of bread. When you are choked up, you are unable to speak or almost begin to cry because of sadness or strong emotion. They're trapped. Kids, trapped? 
Phil, this is great. You're really choked up about this, aren't you? Come on. Uh, no, I, you don't under, I, I have this terrible fear of A hunk means a large, thick piece, especially of food. We can say a hunk of bread, cheese, or meat. Moussaka is a Greek dish consisting of layers of potato, aubergine, minced meat, and a bechamel sauce on top. As you may have noticed by the tone of his voice, Hades is super sarcastic. So here in this clip, he plays around with the meaning of the word choke. He is also not being sentimental at all. So Hades, you finally made it. To make it means to complete something successfully. You made it somehow, our little guy. You didn't give up, did you? We made it. Speaking of success, if you want to become a successful English learner, I highly recommend our Fluent with Friends course. You'll have fun learning lots of native vocabulary, expressions, and pronunciation with the first two seasons of Friends. You'll receive PDF power lessons every week and gain access to our Fluency Circle global community so that you're never alone on your journey. The best part is you can try it for free with our three-part masterclass. Just click up here or the link down in the description box below and we'll send it straight to your email. How are things in the underworld? Well, they're just fine. You know, a little dark, a little gloomy, and as always, hey, full of dead people. What are you going to do? The underworld in Greek mythology refers to a place where souls go after death. If you describe a place as gloomy, it is dark and you cannot see very well. As for a person, it means unhappy and without hope. Well, certainly not a very cheery place. One might say it was rather, um... Gloomy? Yes, that's it. Do you know it? No, dear. Oh, there's the little sunspot. Little snoochie. Hades refers to Hercules as sunspot because as you may have noticed, the gods and goddesses shine like the sun. Check out this moment in the film where Hades uses sunspot to talk about Hercules. First you gotta turn the little sunspot. Mortal. Little snoochy refers to something small and cute. And here is a sucker for the little sucker. Sucker is an informal name for a lollipop. If you say someone is a sucker, you mean they are a fool or an idiot. Hey, what makes you think you're coming? You're lucky. <laughs> Do I look like a sucker to you? <laughs> Sheesh is an interjection used to express frustration or annoyance. Okay, I'm gonna go look Mom around. Mom said to stay hidden. I'm not gonna leave the cave. Sheesh. Now, let's watch three different scenes where characters are using interjections. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Wow. You're reading these cool things, I gotta go work. Life is so unfair. <sighs> I guess I can show you a few moves. Mulan's going to teach us how to kick butt! <laughs> In which of them is the character expressing frustration or annoyance? Ooh, powerful little tyke. Come on, Hades, don't be such a stiff. A tyke is a small child who behaves badly. Don't just stand there, you fools! Get the dog! Get stuck in the eye! Come on, Hades, don't be such a stiff. To describe someone as stiff means they are formal and controlled in a way that is not friendly or relaxed. Check out this example and pay attention to two different words with similar meanings to stiff. Mom. Could you remind me, why am I marrying this guy? Vala, do we have to argue about this again? We don't seem to have anything in common. The guys are stiff. Yes, darling, I know the general may be a little gruff and somewhat overbearing at times, but 
Join the celebration. <laughs> Love to, babe. But unlike you gods lounging about up here, the phrasal verb lounge about or around means to spend time relaxing or doing nothing. Day or night, there was no one else. From dawn to dusk, my meals would come. I'd lounge about in my home. I regrettably have a full-time gig that you, by the way, so charitably bestowed on me, Zeus. Regrettably is used to say that you are sad or sorry about something. Ratatouille doesn't sound delicious. It sounds like rat and patootie. Rat patootie, which does not sound delicious. Regrettably, we are all out of wine. The word gig informally means a job. If you have a full-time gig, you work for all the hours that are requested, usually 40 hours a week. It's also used to describe a single performance by a musician or group of musicians, especially playing modern or pop music. I mean, what? Uh, don't worry about it. Being a regular dog is like the greatest gig in the world, okay? I regrettably have a full-time gig that you, by the way, so charitably bestowed on me, Zeus. The word charitably comes from charity. If you do something charitably, your intention is to help someone in need. If you are kind and like to help people in need, you can be described as charitable. Example, people tend to be more charitable at Christmas time. To bestow something on or upon someone means to give valuable property or an important right or honor to someone. One more time, Hades is being sarcastic here as he does not like his gig as the god of the underworld. So it is with great, great honor and a humble heart that I bestow this pot of honey upon our dear friend, Alone. <laughs> Wonderful <laughs> idea, Rabbit. Love to, but can't. You ought to slow down. The modal verb ought to, which means the same as should, is pronounced in two different ways. One is more common in American English, which was how Zeus pronounced it. Ought ends with a T, and to also starts with a T. When this happens, we tend to pronounce only one consonant sound in order to facilitate the linking with the next word. Instead of saying ought to, Americans say ara with a flap T. In British English, however, you are going to hear a true T or a glottal T. Check out these examples, first with an American pronunciation and the second with a British pronunciation. If Jasmine found out I was really some crummy street rat, she'd laugh at me. A woman appreciates a man who can make her laugh. Al, all joking aside, you really ought to be yourself. Hey, that's the last thing I want to be. Some kidding, just a stick or two. All this bit of rubbish ought to do. Oh, dear. We'll smoke the blighter out. We'll smoke the monster out. No, no. To learn more about how natives cut and link words together, make sure you check out this lesson that Ethan made over on our other channel. You can click up here or the link down in the description box below to watch that next. Work yourself to death. <laughs> Work yourself to death. <laughs> Here is Zeus joking around with the fact that Hades is the god of the underworld. If you work yourself to death, you work to the point of exhaustion. And you'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Woo. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your game's over. Wonder Boy is hitting every curve you throw at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I haven't been throwing the right curves at him, Meg, my sweet. Don't even go there. See, he's got to have a weakness because everybody's got a weakness. I mean, for a what? Pandora, it was the box thing. For the Trojans, hey, they bet on the wrong horse, okay? We simply need to find out Wonder Boys. I've done my part. Get your little imps. They couldn't handle him as a baby. I need somebody who can handle him as a man. Hey, I've sworn off manhandling. 
Well, you know, that's good, because <laughs> that's what got you into this jam in the first place, isn't it? You sold your soul to me to save your boyfriend's life. And how does this creep thank you? By running off with some babe. He hurt you real bad, didn't he, Meg, huh? Look, I learned my lesson, okay? Which is exactly why I got a feeling you're gonna leap at my new offer. Megoro is one of Hades' servants. Hades has been using her as a way to help him execute his plan of defeating Hercules. Meg, however, is not on his side and it seems Hades' plans have failed miserably. Looks like your game's over. Wonder Boy is hitting every curve you throw at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I haven't been throwing the right curves at him, Meg, my sweet. Megara is referring to Hercules as Wonder Boy because he is successful and has extraordinary abilities. You may be familiar with the superheroine Wonder Woman. The idiom throw someone a curveball comes from baseball and means to surprise someone with something that is difficult or unpleasant to deal with. Example, sometimes life throws a curve at you. When Megara says Hercules is hitting every curve Hades throws at him, she means Hercules has been able to combat Hades' attempts to destroy him. Don't even go there. See, he's gotta have a weakness because everybody's got a weakness. If you are weak, you are not strong. Weakness refers to the fact or state of not being strong or powerful. The opposite of weakness is strength. Pay attention to the examples. Step forth. The true path to victory is to find your opponent's weakness and make him suffer for it. Oh, yeah! I mean, because here's the thing. Superhuman good looks, I've always had them. Born with it. But superhuman strength, can you imagine the possibilities of this? I mean, for what, Pandora? It was the box thing. For the Trojans, hey, they bet on the wrong horse, okay? We simply need to find out Wonder Boys. Pandora's box is an artifact in Greek mythology in which curiosity led her to open a container she was told not to, consequently releasing physical and emotional curses upon humanity. So, if you open a Pandora's box, you do or start something that will cause a lot of problems. We call Trojans the people from the ancient city of Troy. However, Hades is talking in reference to the Trojan horse that was the wooden horse used by the Greeks during the Trojan War to enter the city of Troy and win the war. As an expression, Trojan horse refers to something you accept because it seems good, but actually is intended to do bad. To bet on something means to risk money on the result of an event or a competition in the hope of winning more money. Example, luckily I bet $1,000 on the winning horse. Also, if you bet that something is true or will happen, you mean you are certain of it. Take a look at this example. Can't wait to see the Queen and the Princess. I bet they're absolutely lovely. I bet they are beautiful. I've done my part. Get your little imps. They couldn't handle him as a baby. I need somebody who can handle him as a man. If you do your part, you do something that helps to achieve something. If we all stick together and we do our part, we can win this thing. I need somebody who can handle him as a man. If you say that someone can handle a problem, a situation, or even another person, you mean that they have the ability to deal with it successfully. What do you got planned? Oh, are you sure you can handle it? Come on, you know who you're talking to? This is Lightning McQueen. I can handle anything. Hey, I've sworn off manhandling. When you swear off something, you promise to stop doing or using it. Example, Anne decided to swear off social media because it was consuming too much of her time. Well, you know, that's good because <laughs> that's what got you into this jam in the first place, isn't it? Here, jam refers to a difficult situation. Common collocations are to be in a jam and get out of a jam. Example, I was in a jam after losing all my money on a bet. You sold your soul to me to save your boyfriend's life. And how does this creep thank you? We use the word creep to describe an unpleasant person. No, 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 no,
The phrasal verb to run off means to leave a place unexpectedly. We make a great team, the two of us. We sure do. No doubt about it. So what are you going to do? Just go running off to the wild by yourself? Nope. Good. By running off with some babe. The word babe is used informally to describe an attractive person. Couldn't have done it without you, sugar. No. Sweetheart, babe. He hurt you real bad, didn't he, Meg, huh? Did you notice that Hades does not pronounce didn't he as two separate words? In order to connect didn't with he, the T sound is dropped in didn't and the H sound in he is reduced to E. So what we hear is... Didn't he make her? Check out this example. He had you, didn't Woo! he? Look, I learned my lesson, okay? If you learned a lesson, you acquired a great understanding of a situation by going through difficult experiences. I only wanted to help, and what did you say to me? Fly home, buddy. I work alone. It tore me apart, but I learned an important lesson. You can't count on anyone, especially your heroes. Which is exactly why I got a feeling you're gonna leap at my new offer. When you leap at something, you enthusiastically accept the chance to do or have it. Example, she leaped at the offer for a better job. How sentimental. You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? So is this an audience or a mosaic? Hey, how you doing? Looking good. Nice dress. So, Haiti, you finally made it. How are things in the underworld? Well, they're just fine. You know, a little dark, a little gloomy, and as always, hey, full of dead people. What are you going to do? Which picture shows the opposite of gloomy? Oh, there's the little sunspot, little schnoochie. And here is a sucker for the little sucker. Here you go. You just... <laughs> yeah, powerful little tyke. Come on, Hades, don't be such a stiff. Join the celebration. <laughs> Love to, babe. But unlike you gods lounging about up here, I regrettably have a full-time gig that you, by the way, so charitably bestowed on me, Zeus. So, can't. Love to, but can't. You ought to slow down. You work yourself to death. Ha! Work yourself to death! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I kill myself! <laughs> if only. If only. Looks like your game's over. Wonder Boy is hitting every curve you throw at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I haven't been throwing the right curves at him, Meg, my sweet. To throw a curveball at someone means to hit them with a curvy object, to make them drive on curvy roads, to present them with a difficult and unexpected problem. Don't even go there. See, he's got to have a weakness because everybody's got a weakness. I mean, for what, Pandora, it was the box thing. For the Trojans, hey, they bet on the wrong horse, okay? We simply need to find out Wonder Boys. I've done my part. Get your little imps. They couldn't handle him as a baby. I need somebody who can handle him as a man. Hey, I've sworn off manhandling. What should you swear off if you want to make your English epic? Procrastination? learning from your favorite shows, finding speaking partners on our app. Well, you know, that's good because <laughs> that's what got you into this jam in the first place, isn't it? You sold your soul to me to save your boyfriend's life. And how does this creep thank you? By running off with some babe. He hurt you real bad, didn't he, Meg, huh? Look, I learned my lesson, okay? Which is exactly why I got a feeling you're gonna leap at my new offer. Uh, uh. <laughs> Good 
Good. Good. Yes. Yes! I'm, I'm getting it! Not bad, kid. Alberto Scorfano. Luca Paguro. Piacere. Trollamo trombetta. It's a human thing. I'm kind of an expert. What does it mean? The, the thing you just said? Come on, I'll show you some more stuff. <laughs> 